Welcome back, another episode. The boys' team experiences its lowest point to date in the penultimate episode of Season 4. Not just Huey, Annie, Butcher, M.M., Kimiko, and Frenchie are in danger, despite what would seem to be impossible given where they've been previously. Going into the season finale, everyone is in a vulnerable situation because of the complete disarray of the Seven and Vought's corporate structure. Victoria Newman, the vice president-elect, is the only one who isn't completely depressed. She wholeheartedly supports Homelander's plan and the political violence necessary to see it through. It is understandable that she may made her decision given that the alternative would have killed her and her daughter, the soup genocide. The episode does a good job of setting up what will undoubtedly be an epic season 4 finale, but the boys still have a lot of work to cover. It appears, though, that the show may only take one more step to make up for its dismal first season. Homelander has struggled throughout the season, but overall everything appeared to be going well for him. The world's most intelligent person, Sister Sage, joined him, and together they devised a strategy for global dominance. However, the insane soup gave in to his worst desires, and as a result, he has since ignored Sage in favor of Firecracker and her infatuation with winning his approval. Homelander appears to be relying more on force than cunning to carry out his ambitious objective, rather than strategic acumen. It doesn't seem well for Homelander's takeover strategy since he is currently surrounded by a group of yes-men. Homelander has returned to where he was at the start of Season 4, albeit with more rage this time around. Homelander, who embarks on a journey throughout the season, ends it scarier and more powerful than ever before. This is kind of the boy's thing. But this time, it did the trick. The stakes of Homelander's activities are raised by the takeover narrative, but Antony Starr's acting is still outstanding since he manages to escape the script's cliches and convey an even more dangerous character. Nothing can stop him from going into the final act, which is a positive sign. For the first time in a long time, it feels like anything can happen in Season 5, which is the boys' final season. There have been indications of deterioration in the boys' fourth season. Despite its apparent prescience, its social commentary has become old, and the scenes aimed at shocking and awe-inspiring audiences have either fallen short of expectations or have a shockingly low tone. While the faults in Episode 7 are not entirely corrected, it does set up a potentially game-changing climax. Homelander has sent the Deep and Black Noir to assault Butcher and Annie, and the gloves are off. As the leak, a train has been made public. There has been a firing of Sister Sage. Annie appears to be a part of the January 6th plan, having been abducted. The boys feels like it has some energy again after feeling lifeless for much of the season. For more videos, subscribe.